Mrs. T had an equal number of pears and apples at first. She sold half of the apples and bought another 42 pears. In the end, she had thrice as many pears as apples. Find the number of apples she had at first. That's the question. Now let's go through the question one sentence at a time and draw models for that. First statement states that Mrs. Tay had an equal number of pears and apples at first. So let's draw a model for this. So we have pears represented by this box and apples represented by this box. This shows that the number of pears and the number of apples were equal at first. Then we go to the second line in the question. She sold half of the apples. So what do we do? We cut the apples into two equal parts and take away one part to represent that she sold away half of the apples. So we've taken that. So half of the apples have been sold and she bought another 42 pairs. Now on the pair side we extend the model to show that she had for, bought 42 more apples. And she had thrice as many pairs as apples at the end. So this line shows a marker to show that this is what the number of pairs that are there more than the number of apples. And now to show that she had thrice as many pairs as apples would mean that she had three units totally for pears and one unit for apples. So from here we can clearly see that apples is a reference because pears has been compared to apples. Pears have three units, apple has one unit. So this represents one unit. An equivalent size shown here represent one unit. Pairs totally need three units. Since one unit has been shown here, the rest here should be equal to two units. Also we see that this from the previous diagram itself, this is equivalent to one unit because of they are of the same size, which gives us this conclusion that out of two units, if this is one unit, the remaining 42 that is shown here has to be equal to one unit. Now let's go to the workings to complete and solve the problem. So we know that one unit is equal to 42. And initially apples, how many apples were there? There were one unit and two units were there. So apples is equal to two units, which is equal to two times 42, which is equal to 84. Now we are going to say, we are going to see the same question and try to understand it in the way that we would be writing the answers in the answer sheet. Mrs. T had an equal number of pears and apples at first. We represent this as a before condition and draw models for both pears and apples. This shows that apples and pears are equal at first. She sold half of the apples to show that we divide the apple into two equal parts and remove one part. So now she is left with half of the apples that she had at first and bought another 42 pairs. So we can show this by extending the number of pairs by 42. Now in the end she had thrice as many pairs as apples. So here we can indicate that by this particular line 
to show that this is what is the number of pairs that is more than the number of apples. And the second part of the condition we represent it as an after condition. So we draw it like this because from the statement she had thrice as many pairs as apples clearly shows that pairs, we have three units for the pairs and one unit for the apples, which can be shown by this diagram. Now we know that from the, comparing these two diagrams, this portion has to be equal to this portion or this portion is being represented by this part of the diagram in the after section and from based on the sizes and the information we know that this, this one unit is the same as this one unit and so the 42 has to be equal to this one unit. As far as the workings are concerned, it's similar to what we saw earlier. From the diagram, we clearly know that one unit is equal to 42. Apples, which is equal to two units, would be two times 42, which is 84.